Hi, my name is Stratos. This is the fifth video of the series and we are continuing building our website using the Oxygen Website Builder. In this video we are going to build our homepage and let's take a look in the apple.com site. You will see here that they have an iPhone 11 Pro and this we call the hero section. They have big text here and uh, a little less of a text here, a little smaller text and then here they do have some call to action links and as you can see here is the, the image of the product that they advertise here. Let's go to Ferrari, we will see here that they have a slider and I think it's really bad that they do have a slider here and they are promoting two cars and of course they have also a button here. Let's go to Skype and you will see here the hero section where they saying about the Skype and you can download it by clicking here. So basically uh, we know that the style and what and how we built the site will uh, change uh, after two or three years. Uh, what is trending right now doesn't mean that we are going to use it in two or three years time. Before two or three years we have sliders everywhere but now the marketers uh, saying that it's not good. Uh, there are many reasons why you shouldn't use the slider in the first page as a hero image and some of the reasons are that the visitor will be confused, he, di he won't know where to click and also most of the visitors that will come in your page will come from a mobile phone or a tablet and uh, those uh, sliders will not work at all or it will not work correctly from a mobile versions from mobile phones so we tend to remove or not display them in the mobile versions so there's no point on doing them uh, on the hero image so let's go into pages we're going into home page and of course uh, I will explain some elements and the basic things about those elements so the video will be too long for me <laughs> okay it, it, we will go for an hour video I think or something and as uh, the series will progress the video will become less and less in uh, time okay smaller and smaller because I will go faster so uh, because I have already explained we, I will already have explained all those elements so I will go faster at uh, my buildings Okay, let's go and add here and I will add a section. Now, what a section is? A section is a, a group of elements that all talk about the same thing. So here we have iPhone 11 Pro, the title, this is a text, this is two buttons, this is the image that they have as a background and this all is a section about iPhone 11. Here we have the, the iPhone 11 uh, standard, not the Pro version uh, section. We have the Head, header again, the heading, we have the text, we have the buttons and of course the background image. Here is the section about the watch. So basically we have sections that talk about the same thing. If we go here to racing and okay <laughs> it wasn't what I expect. Let's go to some Scuderia Ferrari and as you can see here we, they have a section here that says what's hot and they are ha there are, um, these are the articles. Another section that says races and talks about the races that they do have. Okay, in MotoGP. Not MotoGP, sorry, F <laughs> Formula One, <laughs> scratch that. Okay, and another section that they have the partners. Okay, so basically in the section you are going to put elements that talk about the same thing. If you are selling a book, you will put the title of the book, the image of the book, uh, some specification about the book, the author, I don't know, everything that you want about the book. Next, you will put another section that talks about something else. So let's go and create our hero image. And let's go and start with the background. We're going to advanced and background, browse, and we're going to select a background. Now I've already downloaded and uploaded some images uh, just to be a little bit faster but you can go to sites like Unsplash, Pixel Bay, uh, Pexels and free images and you will find free images to download for your website. Do not use 
images that you search from Google because maybe they, they have some uh, rights that you cannot use without uh, a link to the author or something. So be sure to check all of those uh, websites to find a picture that you that is appropriate for your section. Now, uh, I will start by hitting this picture. And as you can see here, I have named the picture Stratos Tutorials. Now, this is for SEO purposes. When you're creating a section, always uh, title the image that you have or the images that you have uh, that have something in common with the section. So if you're selling a book, the image of the book should be named after the book, of course, after the title of the book, not book.jpg. Okay. And uh, be sure to create the name uh, appropriate with the section, Stratos Tutorials. And of course, here you always should have the title and the alternative text. Always remember to have the alternative text. This is important for SEO. It's not that everything that you do in SEO will give you a push and uh, go in the first page, but every little thing counts. So you have to be specific. You have to be to, to do all the, those things that you must do for SEO purposes. Okay, let's go and uh, select the image. So let's go browse and I will select this one. And now let's go and add some heading underneath text and underneath a button. So let's go and triple click the heading and I will type something like uh, WordPress tutorials. After that, triple click the text and I will type like we will help you become better in WordPress. Of course, uh, this is not the actual website. It's something that I'm building now to show you how you can use the Oxygen Page Builder. And let's go and triple click the button and let's type go not got go to videos okay so i will click back to my section and i will go to the stack child elements vertically this means that every element will be underneath the previous one and let's go for center so everything will be stacked in the center so be aligned in the center and let's go now to the heading. I will go here at advanced. I will go to typography and for line height, as you can see, the border is way too high. I will put here one. Now, every time you add here a heading, you will have to remember that it's tagged H1. And here are the tags that you have available to use. Now, the tags are not so, so important for SEO as they used to be some years ago uh, Google had said that it's not so important today you can use 3H1 in the same page and not get uh, any penalties for that it will not affect your SEO so uh, I don't think that you should not care about the tags this is a habit for me so I, I every time that I put something I will put the tag that corresponds to the title or something else but the most important thing I, I think that we have here is that we can set the h1 h2 and etc uh, text size font size and after that when you click the h3 you have a size and when you repeat in another section the same title you will just click h3 and it will take the same size so it be we so it will look consistently Okay, every title in every section will look the same. <coughs> Sorry about that. And another thing that if you have a blog and you are creating posts that the visitor will read, you have for me to use H uh, elements, H tags, because uh, most of the visitor will not read the whole article, will just uh, skip to the titles, we read the titles, and then if they are interested in something, we'll read the paragraph. So the titles must be exactly how they're supposed to be for the eye to catch everything and not miss any part. And what do I mean, ab what do I mean about that? Let's go and see an example. 
let's go for a notepad and let's go not for a notepad for let's go for a wordpad word pad okay i will go and up and open the wordpad and let's say that we are creating a, an article a post about computers so a uh, computer not computer pc or laptop and this is the title of the post so it will be the biggest uh, of all so let's go for 26 okay i align the center and after that we'll go for another title which is the h2 and let's say what should you buy PC or laptop okay uh, it's important that you repeat the title in the H2 element and in fr in uh, the the beginning of the post so this is the title you will not repeat the title inside the post but this is the actual post text and when you put the H2 you have to repeat the title as long as if you can repeat it in the URL we will see about that when we're creating titles not titles posts sorry and this is the h2 so we're going to do here for and 20 and after that we have a title that says why by a pc and after that this is the h3 after that let's go for 18 no 16 just to have something to compare after that, we have a title that will say uh, PCR cheaper. And this is the H4 title. And after that, we have the text that explain that th the PCs are cheaper and all the text that is going to be in here and this is uh, 12 okay after this we will have again an h4 which is the this title and this is the second reason that we can buy the pc uh, are easier easy and how do you display easier okay <laughs> are more compatible I don't know and after that you have the text why they are more compatible and etc and after that you have an h3 which is this title that it will say why uh, to buy a, a laptop and then you will repeat the same process after that you can put an h3 and says where you can find laptops and PCs okay so uh, when the visitor will come will he will scan through the article and when he reads something that he will like, he will read the whole paragraph or some more. So basically, keep this uh, uh, layout in your posts and you will get better in SEO. Okay, let's go now and give some uh, space in here. When I click to the heading, I will get to padding and margin. As I have said before, the padding is the outside, the margin is the outside space, the padding is the inside space. This is the margin that I am now uh, changing. And if I go to advanced and sizing and spacing, you will see that now I have a margin of 33. Let's go and hit this text and I will also give some space and you have to be also consistent in here and the space that we have here should be e uh, equal to the space that we have here okay so let's go and do some more and now we're going to add an overlay color because the text is not so good i will do a white text here of course let's go for white and let's go also this for white and i will add an e here <laughs> To spell correctly and I will also add something to the button for an effect now let's go and add first in the section the overlay color let's go for a black and we will going to give some transparency 
of uh, 50%. Okay, a little bit more of 60%. Okay, now you have to remember in every section that uh, you have to uh, know which is the most important thing. For me, the most important thing is the title and then there is the button that there is a second most important thing. This text is not so important. It's something that will help the visitor understand what this button will do, what this section is about. This is something that uh, it, it's not so critical for him to read. I want him to read the title and then go to the button. Okay, so you have to go big with the title. You have to go uh, big with the button or have something in uh, a contrast to contrast to look better and the text should not be as good as not as good as uh, big as the title or the button so we're also going to add an effect here when we're hovering we want to change the color so the button color at this point should be this one and let's go and change the state let's go to hover and when you hover you're going to have the button color of this but now i have to give more tran more uh, contrast to the text so let's go for black text and let's go to original state and when I hover you will see it will change now this change is not so smoothly so let's go and add here an effect and transition effect and this is in seconds so 0 0.4 and let's see how it looks now it's a little bit better 0 0.5 And I did 5 seconds, 0 0.5. Okay, so this is good. Let's go and save it. And we're going after that to see how it looks in the front page. Now remember, when you're building a website, you have to go and see it in the front page. You have to see it again after 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, take a break, see something else, and go back to your website and check it out. Every time that you see it, you will see that it needs a little bit of fix something here, something there. You will change something. Okay, so now let's go to the next section. So I will add a section here. And here we're going to add a text. And it will say what, what we can do for you and obviously we cannot teach you how to spell okay so let's go to the middle in the section stack vertically and center and after that i will add some columns and three columns and as i have said before in the column section uh, when you basically add the columns you basically add three divs that have a 33 percent width every each one of them but you, you i mean you can also do the same layout adding three divs but when you use the columns element you will also have this type of uh, settings that will help you in the mobile settings so this is why you, you, we use the columns element when we can just use divs let's go now and And we're going to add an icon box. Let's go to helpers, icon box. And we're going to add it in the first div. Now I'm going to use the icon box three times, one in every column. And because I want to use the same layout to every icon box, I will use the classes. Classes are something that it's really important in Oxygen. Be sure to use it every time you can. It will and make your life easier and you will see what I mean let's go for the icon here and let's go and type the class that I want so home because we're on home page features because this this section is for features features and icon and next we're going to click on the text and let's go for home features and text okay so now i have put the classes for those two elements the icon box have two elements okay the title and the text is one element together they share 
they share the same class. And let's go and uh, click the icon box. And now let's go and duplicate it two times. And I will drag and drop it inside the next div. Okay. Let's go here, drag and drop it inside the div. And let's go for this one. I'm trying to click it, but the mouse doesn't want me to. Okay. And let's go and drag and, drag and drop it into the next div. Okay. So now, if I want to change the color, I can go to the first, the second. It doesn't matter which uh, icon I will choose. I can go to one of those. I will check colors and I will check the... I will change the color immediately for all those three. So basically, the, the, basically this is very good when you have a repeater element and an element it's, that is repeating itself and you want to change something. If you go one by one here, you will see that it will take a lot more time. Now let's go for this one and it will say uh, tutorials. I don't know. Tutorials. This will say chat. And this will say support support something wrong with support I think how I have typed here is it correctly yeah it's correct okay and instead of tutorials let's go for videos okay so uh, now I want to center everything in the middle so I will click in an icon box layout and I will go for center alignment and as you can see, they are all center aligned. Uh, now here I have something a little more space, but I think this is because I have something in my div that it's not the same with the others. Let's go for zero padding here and we will see. Yeah, this is in the divs. Okay, advanced sizing. Let's go for zero padding here also. I will click to the heading and I will drag and drop this to a little bit to have a little bit of area here white space and let's go for the icons solid let's go for white color and background blue okay icon size let's go for 35 space around 15 okay let's go for 40 20 Okay, and now let's go to the icons and instead of rocket, I will choose something else. And I will choose, I don't know, here this eye. Okay, you can choose between two sets of icons at this moment. Line, R, R, li, liner icons or font awesome. If you choose liner icons here, you should also use those in this. Uh, do not use another set because it will really look ugly. Let's go for a bubble here. Chat and support. Let's go for a thumb. Thumbs up. Okay. I will not change the text. This is not important at this time. And also, uh, this should be H2 for me. And all the sections except the WordPress tutorials will be H2. Okay. This will be only one that will have the H1. So uh, after that, let's go for some space here and some space here. And also I want to have a line underneath the title. Now in uh, the inside, not inside, when you having, when you use the oxygen, you don't have an, a, a separator. So we can use an, a div. Let's go and add a div and uh, let's go for the title and add a div. I'll just click the title so I know that the div will go below the title. And now let's go and give it some size. The width of the div should be 400 pixels. No, a little bit more, 350. 350. And I will go to advanced again, borders, and I will choose the bottom and I will give three solid and black. Okay. 
and then after that I will give some space. Now uh, of course it doesn't look good in the front end because uh, oxygen uh, adds some space inside the div so you can uh, add elements inside and do what you want with it. If they do not have, if the div doesn't have any elements inside, it will not have any width or uh, height until you give some. I did give some with the sizing here. Uh, so this uh, height is not uh, something that you will see in the front end. Okay, but I know that I have space from here until the the starting of the div. So let's go and click this and remove the space. No, add a little. I will just save it and let's see it in the front end how it looks. Let's go to back to WP and I will open the front end in a new tab. So let's go. As you can see the line is OK and the space I think it's OK. Uh, this should be a little bit wider. So let's go and give some space here and some space here. OK. And something else that I want to say to you now, uh, in the section, in the background, we have also some other settings and we should use the cover and no repeat every time. Okay, I haven't used it because it will not change uh, in this particular uh, example, but the cover means that the page will cover the element at every time and the contain means that we will see the whole picture. It will go inside the container that we have and then we have the empty space because the picture is all the matters but if you hit cover it will cover all the necessary space inside behind the, the div the section and then we have scroll or fixed fixed is something that uh, for you to know that the image stays in the same spot and the page will hover upon the image okay so when i scroll down you see that the image stays there. I will not use it in the in this moment. And then we have this is the focal point of the image. So the focal point is let's go for the Apple and this is the iPhone. If I reduce the size of the image you will see that the iPhone is staying in the middle every time. This is the focal point of the, the photo. If they had used something else, a black uh, spot here, when we reduce the image we will have uh, the phone cut in the middle or something. So this is basically if you want to show something and let's go for a 50% from the top, from the left sorry, and 50% from the top. So basically I want to see the picture as it is in the middle. Okay, this is the middle of the picture, this is the focal point. Let's go and save it and let's refresh to see how it looks now. Okay, and I want to show also the laptop here because there are WordPress tutorials. So let's go for 70% here and let's go and save. So 70% from the top so we can see a little bit more from the picture. As you can see here, you can see also the laptop. Of course, uh, if I want to see more of the laptop, I have to also stretch the image. Okay, I cannot use 100% here and see all the laptop. Let's go and save, but you can play with those settings and see what you can bring. Let's go again, uh, not again, let's go to the next section. We are okay here and let's go and add another section. Okay, and this section is here, but I don't want it there. Let's go delete it and add another section. And in this section, we're going to put some gallery. Okay, I'm promoting how to create websites. So let's go for a gallery. So let's go for a heading. I will name it gallery. Gallery. I think it has double L. Gallery. And let's go for assigning in the middle, aligned in the middle. And after that, I want three pictures to be as wide as possible. Let's go for columns. I will get three columns here and go to the first color. I will go to advanced background, browse, and I will choose one of those. As I have said before, you always have to use alternative text. Okay, let's go for one of those. 
Website 2. Okay, website 2. Uh, if I had the name of the website, I would name the picture as website uh, as the name of the website and I will put also the attendant text and the title as the name of the website. And something else that I want to take a break now and show it is the size here. As you can see, the size of the image 79 kilobytes and the width is 100 and uh, 1440 pixels. Okay. And we will see in uh, the next before we create in the next section how we can uh, create uh, not create but uh, have an image that has enough width to see it correctly, but it's not so big, so the page will be load faster. So we'll load faster. Let's go select the image, and of course the div has no height or width. So if I go and save here and let's go and refresh the page we will not see anything okay it has some padding by default okay sorry for that and let's go and give some more but if i go here and say zero and zero now maybe now i will not see the image no i will still see the image okay let's go now and add some padding here let's go for 250 and 250 Okay, this is the image and now let's go to the background and let's go for cover and no repeat. Okay, the same thing I will do for the next uh, div. I will go to advanced, add the background, go to browse and let's go for this one, website one. Okay, alternative text, of course this should be the name and not what I'm using here. Now repeat and cover. And let's go for the third one, advanced uh, background, browse, and let's go for this one. Okay, it's name services, but if I was creating the website at this point, I was going to upload the image, the correct image at this point. Okay, select image, and let's go for cover and no repeat. Okay, these are the three uh, images that I want for the gallery. I want to put some space in here. And now let's go and save it and refresh the page. Now you will see that I have only gave a uh, space in here, but I will also get these two pictures. Okay, and this is because the columns here will uh, adapt the size of this column here, but if I go to view it from mobile and where the divs will stack vertically, you will see now that they will not take the same height because they are not at this in the same row at this time. So this is an example for you to be sure to give all of the, all of those uh, the same height in here. Okay, in the, sa the same padding. So let's go for 250 and 250. Nothing will change in this lay in this layout in the, the old devices, but it will change everything when you hit the mobile. So let's go for 250 again and 250 again, and we're good to go for now. And let's go and refresh. Okay, now I want the the images to stretch to stretch to the entire width of the page. So let's go to the section. And let's go to advanced size and spacing and here I will put full width and now I know that they will they will stretch but not entirely let's go and save it and let's go and refresh they will stretch until here we will have a 20 pixels padding okay let's go and remove this and this and save it again and refresh the page okay so this is a little bit better and I also want something that separates this section from this section. Okay, let's go hit the gallery, change it to H2, and then we'll go to the section, advanced, background, and I will put a background color a little bit gray. Let's go for this one, let's save it, refresh the page, and okay, I will put the gallery Okay, it looks okay, but I will not, I want to put the gallery a little bit more to the top. 
and let's go here and remove a little bit of here okay let's go and save it and then let's go and add another section now when i add another section when i refresh here in the front end i will see that i have this gray that i don't want i want the section to end in the end of the pictures here so let's go back and let's go and delete all of those padding all of that padding and let's go to here to my section here i will add uh, the element that it's called uh, how it's called uh, testimonial okay testimonial is something uh, to advance your social proof for so a client of yours will give you a text to put in a testimonial now the testimonial for me doesn't look so good as they have uh, created in oxygen because this is the text that it's the most important thing and after the text for me uh, the most important thing it's the title of the person not the name the title because maybe he is Jane Doe but you don't really care who is Jane Doe you really you care about what's his job and if he's he's a web solution LDD maybe he know what he is doing so maybe he does uh, approves this website and the tutorials that I give and so if the person is not someone famous so if it was if it was Bill Gates then of course you should be put Bill Gates a little bit bigger and then underneath it you can put the founder of Microsoft or something I think everyone knows who is Bill Gates but if it was some other person that is the CEO of CEO of Microsoft then the most important thing after the, uh, the text that he said is the job title so I was going to change all of those things I will leave as it is and put italics here so it will say that this is something that he told as it is and then in in here I will go for the typography and author info and I will go for a little bit bigger let's go for 15 16 not this number 16 and let's go for a different color okay and let's go for bold Okay, the text, let's go and see what the text is, typography text, it's 21 now, let's go for 23, okay, and let's go for the author to be 16, and I will uh, create something like that, let's go to the picture, and let's go for image and browse and we're going to put these guys here of course always use alternative text select image okay you can play with the image before or after position I like it better here the image is not correct of course and let's go I will leave the size as it is the spacing I think it's okay but let's play with it a little bit okay let's go for 25 and of course it doesn't look at this point good if I go and refresh the page I will see that it has too many too much width for me so I'll go into the uh, into the element and I will put a little bit less of width so I'm going to lay out not lay out sorry size, size and spacing and I will go for pixels and 800 yeah 800 okay section center and stack vertically and this is something that it looks a little bit better for me okay yeah it looks it looks a little bit better now uh, in testimonials i think it's the only element that you can uh, build into a slider okay you can create a slider and you can uh, slide testimonials so the visitor will see more than one testimonial testimonials it's not that you want to take too much space for testimonials you can also create three columns but I think it's a little bit uh, more beautiful when you add the slider here so we want to repeat itself so let's go and add here a class this is a uh, home uh, testimonial and not to repeat itself okay home testimonial and now have the class here 
So uh, let's go for black. Okay. So now that I have set the class here, I can duplicate it three times and then go underneath it and add a slider. Okay, slider. And here in slider, I will take the first and bring it under the first slide. If the mouse wants to work with me, okay, wants to work with me. Testimonial, the second one, under the second slide. Okay, and the third one under the third slide. Okay, so now we have the slider here, and let's go to slide to the slider, and uh, we want the animation speed to be yeah darker or lighter. I don't really care about that right now. Let's go for that color, something about with blue. Yeah, uh, remove padding. I don't really care at this point, but. I will leave it as it is. Dot overlay slider. Dots overlay slider. This is good for when you use pictures. Okay, and you want the dots to be above the pictures. All sliders frame to the same height. I will leave it as it is. Okay. And configuration. I will put an autoplay here. And three seconds, it will be changed. Okay, so let's go and save it. And let's go how it is uh, in the front end. Now I'm missing a title here in the section. So let's go and add a title. Go into the section. I will add here a title that says uh, what what they say about us. Okay, I will put it before the slider. And also I will put some space underneath it. Okay, let's go and save it. And let's go and refresh the page, what they say about us. Okay, and I think it's okay. So this is the home page that we're going to leave as it is. And I will show you now how you can uh, change all of those eight settings. So let's go here to manage and settings and let's go to global styles. Here we have also already changed the colors. We have add the colors, sorry. And the fonts, we changed it when I think, no, we haven't changed it, but I have already put Ubuntu and Roboto. Ubuntu is the, the, the headings title. And the text font will be the Roboto. Let's go and go to the headings. And this is where I will put the size that I want to have in all of those. Uh, this It's not H2. Okay. And this is the size that I have in all these H uh, tags. So let's go here. For H1, we're going to go for 55. You can see it changing. Now, this is not the default uh, settings. I have already changed those of things. For H2 now, we're going to go for 45. H3 will be 36. We don't have an H, not sorry, H3, 36. We don't have any H3 text here. H4 should be 30. H5, let's go for 25. And H6, let's go for 20, 20, not 22. And let's go back now. Okay, we have already changed the body text when we created the menu. Links, this is the links color. We're going to change it in another video. And we're going to say about the page width because I haven't told tell you anything. And now the page width is the width that you have in the page from the beginning of the logo until the end of the menu. This is the page width. We're not counting the whole screen because we don't know uh, which screen does a visitor have. Everyone will get inside, not get inside, will uh, browse your uh, website from another screen resolution. Many of those will have laptops, will 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 have uh, 1366 pixels width. 
and many of those will have a HD. So we're going, they are going to see the website in another dimension. So you can you cannot uh, pro not pr predict any of those or restrict any of those. So we have something that we're going to that is named box layout, and this is the width that we have from here to here. Okay, this is the page width that we're talking about, and this is 1200 pixels. So uh, you should choose a number. By default, the oxygen give us uh, 100, 1000 and uh, 120, I think. Something about that, but I always change it. I always change it to this number to 1200. Uh, and let's see laptop resolution so and of course I typed it correctly uh, incorrectly so basically most of the laptops that uh, most people not the laptops that most people use will have a, a dimensions a resolution that it's wide uh, 1366 pixels so you have to choose a number that it's less than this one and of course not equal or uh, 100 uh, 1300 because you need some space from here to here if we let's go to the footer you will see here that they have space from here and space to here so this is the space that we will get uh, if we remove the 100 one, 1200 from the pixel that the size that the screen resolution has I hope I, I didn't lost you in this sentence <laughs> so basically to something that is less uh, one le less than 1300 and for me I always choose 1200 let's see uh, the next sentence since we're there since we're here, the section, this is the contain padding that we have. And animate on scroll, this is the default settings that we will use for the animations. Okay, and let's go here for uh, 500 millisecond. Is in, uh, animate only once and disable on tablets. Okay, I will click save it and the script we will see it in a later on uh, video and let's go now and see the front end we have not finished yet this video of course we will use some uh, effects here also i want to have an effect here when i hover so let's go and do that and let's go here let's go for hover and I can do a hover effect that will change the the blue background but I have already done that so let's go for something else let's go to effects transform add transform and let's go and rotate to 25 degrees okay let's go back and let's go to original state and as you can see when I hover it will rotate but of course it's not great rotation because I need a transition and here go let's 0 0.5 and let's see how it looks yeah this is a little bit better okay so this is uh, something this uh, is one of the amazing things that you can do with the hover effect with the hover state and let's go back and let's go to add some effects now we're going for this one i will go to advanced effects animate on scroll and i will enable the fade animation and of course i don't have to choose any of the other settings because i have already put it in here in the global styles let's go to the next one here i will put an again effect animation or scroll i will enable it and i will put fade up and this is also fade up let's go for the effects and let's go not transition sorry to animation scroll animate and i will go also for fade up 
but here I will put something that is uh, here in delay 100 millisecond just to uh, give it a little bit different from the text here let's go and refresh the page and we will see how it looks okay it was too fast okay now it was a little bit better okay and here I can put a delay for a little bit more so let's go to my script not script sorry to animation or scroll let's go for 500 delay to every element and let's go to my button and I will give it a little bit more of a delay let's go for 800 milliseconds okay let's go to this and I will also put an animate effect and let's go for fade left no fade right fade right okay and let's go to my to the divs this is the div so let's go and go effects animation scroll animate it I will fade it from left no from right also and I will put here no I will not put here a delay I will put in the second one you will see why let's go to the div okay I think that the previous one I gave the div the animation or the okay I gave the animation to the icon box and not the div so they do all have the same animation at this point okay uh, let's go and remove it from the animation from the icon box sorry I will disable it and I will go into the div structure and let's go into the div and I will put here the animation effect animate and scroll enable animation fade right okay this is the second one effect animate and scroll enable animation and I will put here a delay of 750 and this div will be will be and here I will go animate and let's go for 1000 and let's see how we done let's go and refresh the page okay we have this effect and this effect is not looking so good yeah I have done something wrong here let's go and see what I have done wrong animation delay 100 this is the effect div let's go here advanced effect and animation delay and let's go for 500 okay save and let's go and refresh the page again and for some reason this do not take the effect that I want I will check it once more let's go inside the div here let's go and see if I have removed the effect now it's not is it, the animation here has not been removed no it hasn't been removed sorry okay let's go again to the div effect animator scroll and I have no animation type so this is why fade to right okay and here I hadn't select any animation type animator scroll and fade to right okay let's go and save it and refresh it now <coughs> So this is how it looks now. As you can see, you can do more effects. And we have two more things before we wrap this video up. The next thing is 
uh, something really important. Okay, both things are really important. And uh, the next thing is always when you finish the page, check the mobile version of the page. So let's go for the page container, this one. And let's go for this. It's okay. Uh, this looks fine. The gallery looks fine. And this looks fine also. Okay, let's go for less than 992. Here, I will remove some space from here and down here. Okay, of course, I will remove also some space here, some space. Now here, I won't remove any of those. Okay, I will remove some space from here, a space from here. The gallery looks okay. And it's okay also. Let's go for less than 768. And now I will re reduce the size here. Let's go for 25. No, 30. So this is 30. This would be 25. And this would be 25. And this would be 25. Of course, this is messed up right now. We will change it. Let's go and see how it looks. Okay, the other looks okay. But here I have to change the width. Okay, let's go to advanced. Let's go to size and spacing and let's go for 200 pixels. Okay. And here I won't change anything. Let's go and save it. And now I have to take this. Okay, so to fix that, first of all, let's go to configuration and I will remove the autoplay so I will not be confused. And now I have to go to the sliders and I have to go for a full width. Let's go sizing and spacing width. Let's go for 100%. Okay, let's go into the section and section let's go to size and spacing and let's go here for full width no page width without any padding zero and zero okay let's go now and uh, inside the testimonial and let's go for the size and spacing and put here 100 percent Okay, and of course, let's go and into the primary typography text and let's go for a 20 here, no, for 18 here. Okay, this should be a 14 and this should be a 16. Okay, it's a little bit better now. Okay, and of course, since I have already put classes here, they have all changed but I see they haven't. Okay, for some reason. I don't know why the classes, maybe I didn't save the classes, but I should have. So I don't know if I put the, I, I hit the enter here, but you can, you know how to change all of those now. I won't uh, change one by one at this time. Let's go and save it. And only one thing remained before I wrap this video up. So this is a program, Resize, that I have already mentioned in a previous video, not in this series, but in another video. I will put uh, the link in the description below. So this is something that I use to bulk resize the images. Of course, there are plugins that do the same. You can upload the plugin in WordPress and resize the images. But every professional website uh, designer will uh, read re uh, re reduce sorry the size of the images before he uploads it he will also correct the title he will do some things and be sure to do it and uh, of course the oxygen uh, if you add somewhere a picture let's go to the old devices and uh, let's go and add here a picture you will see that the image that wants is 1600 by 900. This is a ratio 16 to 9. So be sure when you resize the images to keep the same ratio. So every post and, uh, and image looks 
the same or similar. If you don't want to use this uh, resolution, you can go to a ratio calculator. Okay. And I think I should use an aspect ratio calculator, but let's go and add here aspect ratio calculator. Okay. Okay, aspect ratio calculator. Let's go for the first that we have here and you can put here 16 to 9 this is the ratio that we want and then if you add here uh, the image size that you have right now 100 uh, sorry 1800 you can see that the height should be this if i add here 140 1 400 this should be the height that i should have so i would be consistent with the 16 to 9 ratio so that was all for this video. This is how we create the home page. As you can see here, let's go and remove that. I will save again. And this is the home page that we have created. In the next video, we're going to create uh, the other pages. Of course, we will go a little bit faster. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.